Hello and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. There are 10 million Americans out there with age-related macular degeneration. It's a condition that causes legal blindness in people as young as 55 years old. Research shows key nutrients in your diet can help delay its onset and progression. Joining me today is Jennifer Trainer thompson She's the author of Eat Right for Your Sight, Simple Tasty Recipes That Help Reduce the Risk of Vision Loss from Macular Degeneration. Welcome. And an important topic because, as I said, millions of Americans are afflicted by this. What is macular degeneration? It's a degeneration of the retina of your eye, so it's a central part of your vision. Right. And it's age-related. And what's interesting is that in 10 years, by 2025, they think that there's going to be six times the number of baby boomers that there were in 1990. Right. So this is going to reach epidemic proportions. Now, you brought me an example, and, and I'm going to put this on, because basically this is a glass, and see, I don't see anything in the middle uh, and just very little uh, lateral peripheral vision. That's about it, so I don't see anything. All right, um, and w what made you write a book about nutrition and this specific disease? I met a man, Chip Goring, who at age 39 was a lawyer, and he was diagnosed with macular degeneration. He didn't even know what it was. He thought it was molecular degeneration. Right. And he researched it, and he realized that he had a very good chance of going blind, never being able to read, never being able to drive. So he dedicated himself to starting the American Macular Degeneration Foundation Vision. and supporting research. And they have found, especially Dr. Seddon at the Tufts University Medical Center, that certain nutrients can help stave off the progression. And I thought, as a baby boomer myself, that that was really interesting and important. Right. Well, look, uh, I think that this is an important segment because what you're going to talk to me about this morning is basically how to pair different kinds of foods and the effects that they have in preventing, or at least the progression of macular degeneration. So let's start with a, a pairing here that you have. This is a spinach salad, right? And, and walnuts and goji berries? Goji berries, you okay. got it. Why, why is that important? Well, you know, it's interesting. I've written a dozen cookbooks, but I never knew that the sum can be greater than the parts. Spinach is very important for your eyes. It has lutein and zeaxanthin, which are just fancy words for carotenoids, which support your eye health. But the iron in the spinach is absorbed more readily if you have vitamin C. So you put a few orange slices in, maybe you add lemon juice to the dressing, right. and suddenly it's greater than the two, the two parts. Now you also have walnuts and, and you keep them raw there. That was fascinating. When I started working with Dr. Seddon, I naturally toast my walnuts because it enhances the flavor, but she said that keeping them raw retains some of the oils and some of the vitamins in spinach are, water, are fat soluble. So you don't degenerate the protein of the walnut when you, when you roast them. Okay. So you enhance the absorption. All right, we have a, a beautiful dish here, which is salmon with pepper balsamic strawberries. Salmon is a superfood, you know, rich in omega-3 fatty acids. and. Uh, other fatty fish that are so good for your eyes are sardines, herring, mackerel, bluefish, and serving it on a bed of spinach and with strawberries, or you could serve it with lemons. Again, you've got that iron and vitamin C working together. So why why the strawberries? What, what's the combo there? It's just, the, just for taste, or is it? The, the, well, the strawberry, it's, it's taste, and also the strawberries have the carotenoids and the vitamin C. C. You've got the omega-3 working for you for the salmon, and then in the spinach, you've got vitamin K, vitamin B12, okay. magnesium. So it's just as powerful. And it looks delicious, by the way. All, oh, all these you. dishes look delicious. Thank you. Uh, all right, so a nice pairing there. All right. The, 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 the third one, now you have broccoli with sun-dried tomatoes and pine nuts. That's very, right. very nice. Now, this is raw or is this cooked? Uh, this is slightly cooked. Um, what's really interesting about broccoli is the, the, the nutrients that are so essential to eye health are basically the pigments that are found in fruits and vegetables. So the darker the pigment, the better it is for your eyes. Mm -hmm. So broccoli and kale are like superfoods. Right. They are so good for your eyes. And here, um, we've paired it with pine nuts, and you get, you get, again, that oil that enhances the absorption of certain vitamins in the broccoli. Okay. So that's a, that's a perfect combo there, and I like it. It looks very delicious. Now, you, you, we're going to talk uh, two more dishes here that uh, the example is that, that I guess cooked things sometimes are better than raw things when it comes to eye health, right? That's um, right. Um, and so you have an omelet there. Uh, that, tell me about that. 
that when you cook spinach slightly, just just for a few seconds, it'll saute. Yeah, exactly. And so it, it'd be great in an omelet or, mm -hmm. or or in a soup, a kale and linguisa soup. Um, that helps you keep those nutrients in your eye longer. You know, your eye naturally produces these nutrients, these carotenoids, but as you age, it's harder and harder to produce it. So not only do you want to eat foods that enhance it, but you want foods to help you keep it too. So cooking the spinach slightly helps you retain it longer. Okay, so that's good for, for eyesight. And then the, this last dish that we have, this is a tomato carrot, carrot soup. Yes. You always think of carrots, you know, for your eyes, that, whatever. That's what your grandmother said. Well, that's right. right. Eat your carrots because you know right. uh, But this is a lovely soup. Uh, and again, the beauty of cooking these vegetables together. Yeah, well, cooking the tomatoes enhances the absorption of the carotenoids. And what's interesting about tomatoes, too, is you know in the winter you get these sort of chalky-looking tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And right now at farmer's markets you get those deep red beefsteak tomatoes. The deeper the red of the tomato, the more eye health that you're getting. And cooking it slightly enhances the absorption. Can this be replaced, let's say, by supplements? Yes, it can. It yeah? Can. It can. There are But you get bigger bang for your buck. You get a bigger bang for your buck. And, you know, it's, it's also a holistic approach. You know, you also want to exercise. You don't want to smoke. I mean, you want to do other systems that support good health, but eating well is the first defense right. for eye health. All right. Well, thank you so much. Where can people get more information? Macular.org is the website of the American Macular Degeneration Foundation. All right. And the book, again, Eat Right for Your Sight is the book, and you guys get it, have to get it because this is a, not only has wonderful recipes, but in, indeed, I think by pairing all these foods, you're going to get a, a lot of good positive nutrition for your eye and for your overall health. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And if you have any health questions, send them here to Fox at drmanny at foxnews.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.